It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from North Brewing Company and it's a can of their Globe Earth. It's a double IPA coming in at 8% ABV and a 440 milliliter can. Absolutely fantastic looking can there. I'm giving it a bit of a smooth. I'm <laughs> Smoothing the condensation off the front of the can. Um, yeah, should we just get it out into a glass, see what we get? I've, I've been standing here for a few moments before I press record on the camera, wondering when was the last time I had a double IPA? And honestly, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been a while. <clears throat> little bit of smoke on the can opening beer in the glass now I'm saying this because I've been thinking about it recently there was a time on this channel where the channel was dominated by big imperial stouts big barley wines big double IPAs and I don't know if I'm just getting blimmin' old here I can't remember the last time I reviewed a Russian Imperial Stout. I can't remember the last time I reviewed a double IPA or a barley wine. I'm just like settled into these lower ABV beer reviews and I need to I need to change things. Certainly me I tell you what it might be. And this has just come to me now. It might be the fact that we've had such a warm summer here in the UK. Uh, this is recorded in 2022. We had the hottest summer on record in 2022, at least here in Wales. Anyway, we broke records and it was sweltering. And I suppose the last thing you want to do in that heat is drink a double IPA or an Imperial Stout or a barley wine. You want to, st you want to be drinking... Lovely light lagers, good quality light lagers, of course, Heller's lagers. But you want to be drinking something Session IPA, Heller's lager. But now I'm standing here in my shorts, just about. I'm about to go into jeans for the winter or trousers for the winter. But never before October, never before October. But I'm standing here slightly kind of, oof, you know, it's slightly chilly. And this is where these beers come into their own. So this has a one finger white head, it's beautifully hazy, juicy looking, amber, strawish colored, good carbonation. This is where these beers come into their own because they warm you from the inside out. So over the winter months on the channel, Expect to see Imperial Stout, Barley Wines, Double IVAs. Let's get the aroma. Cheers. Very juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Lots of tin pineapple, like you've just bought yourself a nice tin of Del Monte pineapples and you just rip the lid open you get that that instant smell of the pineapple but then the syrupy juice that the pineapple sits in yeah that's exactly what I'm getting it smells delicious a little bit of mango a little bit of tangerine shall we dive in cheers everybody Cool. Watch that very carefully because I'm pretty sure my nostrils flared up as soon as I went, oof, as soon as I started drinking. It's been, <laughs> it's been such a long time since I drank a double IPA. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows, what a beer. Um, 
yeah rewind the video back a little bit watch my nostrils flare up as on my my eyeballs like here we go <laughs> I tell you what's really nice about the beer, breaking it down, because there's a lot to break down here. As soon as the beer sits, now, I drink beer, I, I take a sip of beer, and as I'm sipping the beer, I breathe in. So not only am I tasting the beer, but I'm smelling the beer at the same time. I'm getting the aromas, I'm getting the taste at the same time. And it's a full on experience then, but I hold the beer in my mouth for a few seconds. Of course, just to let that beer sit and push around and get all of those lovely flavours. And, I had a, and I'm having new sensations now. I'll come to that in a moment. But a lot of you will know as I start to do this, I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a moment. But as I held the beer in, the, in, in my mouth initially, there was a lovely sprig of carbonation that just... It lifted the beer. It's quite, it's got a lovely creamy rich mouthfeel to this beer. But the carbonation is enough to just lift it. Just make it quite refreshing. So that I was hit by a lot of flavours. I'll, I'll get more of the flavours now because I'm going to have to take another sip. But I want to go to the back end now of the flavour. What I'm, what I'm tasting and experiencing right now. So because it's 8% ABV. Swallowed the beer down, and what I was left with, with this, was this lovely warming sensation. So as I'm standing here in my shorts, slightly cold, you get this fantastic warming sensation that goes all the way down to the pit of your stomach, and it warms you from the inside out. So when I was doing this just now, it was happening right then as I was, as I was speaking. Just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Flavour wise, mango, tin pineapple, the syrup from the tin pineapple, so a little bit of sweetness, a little bit more mango, a little bit of tangerine, maybe a touch of blood orange. It's fantastic. Fantastic. And I know, I know, I've been, I've been, and I'm going to touch, I'm, of course, I love to be honest on the channel. What's the point in hiding behind and, and, you know, and not hitting maybe tough subjects? I think it's right to hit tough subjects. So uh, I would say early summer. I went through a little bit of a rocky patch with North Brewing Company, had a couple of their beers that I had from Tesco, which on a personal level, I didn't like so much. Because when North initially launched into Tesco, I thought the Lost Cosmonauts was just one of the best beers that, that you could get, if not the best beer that you could pick up in a supermarket. I loved it, absolutely loved it. So I went in with a high expectation with these beers at the beginning of the summer, and maybe I was a little bit harsh, and maybe I read the label a little bit, kind of. I made a bit of a mistake on the label as well. But I've I've already addressed this in the previous video. I've, always, I've already apologised to North on that on that very subject so all of that's behind us but I, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because um, if you forget slightly those couple of beers that I reviewed in Tesco early summer then this is back to where I perceived North to be that kind of high-end top quality brewer and it's restored my faith. I've reviewed a Saison by North Brewing Company at 8% ABV, which was tremendous um, just a few hours ago. Um, now I'm back doing the double IPA 
called Glow Birth. And, uh, and again, again, this is top, top quality double IPA. This is right back up there with your cloud waters, your polys, your verdants. Yeah, North are, North are killing it for me again. And um, I'm happy. I'm happy because I never wanted to, I never purposely wanted to always dislike a company's beers. It was the fact that I just didn't like two in a row. And it was slightly awkward, wasn't it? It was a slightly awkward moment for me, a slightly awkward moment for the channel. Um, but I'm always honest. I, I, I'm a firm believer of, of, of if I just went, ah, oh, yeah, them beers are great. You know, ah, oh, yeah, they're different. Go to Tesco, buy them, love them. You know, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. You guys tune in for my personal opinion. And my personal opinion on this beer is that it is blooming wonderful double IPA. And I'm really pleased that I'm back in love. I'm back in love with North Brewing Company. A tremendous example of a double IPA. Look at the lacing on the glass. Look how that beer looks. Just wonderful. Up there, yet again, with the best double IPAs, the best IPAs in the world, North Brewing Company. Globe Earth, double IPA, 8% ABV. I like it enough to give it a stone the crows, 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!